United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights Volker Turk declared that the collective punishment by Israel of Palestinian civilians amounts to a war crime, as does the unlawful forcible evacuation of civilians. Turk's comments came after he visited the Rafah border crossing that connects Egypt to Gaza, which he described as the gates to a living nightmare. A nightmare where people have been suffocating, under persistent bombardment, mourning their families, struggling for water, for food, for electricity and fuel. Israel's month-long war on Gaza has killed over 10,500 Palestinians, wounded thousands more, displaced 70% of the Strip's 2.3 million residents. Long before October 7, when a Hamas-led attack killed over 1,400 Israelis and triggered Israel's retaliation, Gaza was described as the world's biggest open-air prison under a 56-year occupation and a 16-year blockade by Israel, he highlighted. The UNRWA's chief also stressed that the atrocities perpetrated by Palestinian armed groups were heinous, brutal, and shocking. They were war crimes, as is the continued holding of hostages. Israeli officials say there are about 240 hostages. We have fallen off a precipice. This cannot continue, he warned. Turk emphasized that parties to the conflict have the obligation to take constant care to spare the civilian population and civilian objects. The official also called for all hostages to be freed without condition and said,